dickory dickory dock. Time to beat the clock. Time for fun has now begun. Let's all play beat the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. For half a century, a quality name in incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes and fixtures, photo lamps, radio and television sets, radio and television tubes and electronic devices. Yes, for homes, offices, schools and factories, Sylvania. Let's all play Beat the Clock. And now here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Collier. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. Now, if you'll come over here with me, we'll meet our first contestants for tonight and tell you a little something special about this show. Hello, what's your name? I'm Thelma Christensen. And this is your husband, Lieutenant Christensen. Dwayne Christensen, is that yes, right? Sir, what do they call right. you? And just Chris? Chris, that's Chris. Fine. All right, Lieutenant, if you don't mind, were you recalled into the Army? or No, you... sir, I've been in since August. This is my first time in. Oh, I see. And uh, how'd you get them there, Lieutenant Barr, so fast? Well, uh, <laughs> I got these after finishing college, and I got them through the ROTC the program. ROTC at college. Yes, sir. Where was that? Utah State, Logan, Utah. Oh, good. How long have you been married, Miss Christensen? Sixteen months. Have any children? No. Huh? Well, now I want to tell you a little something about tonight's show. It's kind of special, and I'll tell you why. We thought it'd be kind of fun to do what we call the best stunts of 1952. Now, this does not necessarily mean these are the most complicated, the most ingenious, or the cleverest, but we rated it on the basis of those stunts in which the audience watching the stunt enjoyed the most, and the contestants also enjoyed doing. So, you know, it's that kind of a best stunt. We thought it'd be fun to do them again for once, and take one last look at them, a longing one possibly. So that's what you'll be involved in. Every one of these stunts tonight have been done before, with the exception of the bonus, our new bonus. It was new practically at the time, just got off the ground at $300, I think it was. Or was it 200 last week? $200. And it was knocked off, boom, boom, boom. It was the tennis racket with a little plastic cup on it. Just about time people were getting used to practicing it at home. A fellow we found out later, incidentally, is a professional tennis coach. <laughs> he took that thing and bounced the cup right up and had no trouble at all. So we have a new one tonight. Whenever the bell happens to ring, whoever happens to be at the microphone, as the usual rule goes, will be the ones to try it. Now, right off the bat, to start you out, show you how our sort of best stunts thing goes, on the $100 clock, will you both come over here with me, please? You may have remembered seeing this, or some of the people who uh, watch the show every week may have seen it. But I'm going to ask you to step forward, step over this wire, if you will, please, Lieutenant, and come up here with me. Now, you'll notice on your left, there is a pile of saucers, and on your right is a pile of cups. Now, what I want you to do when I say go, is you walk over, you always meet here in the center, you see? You walk over there, pick up a saucer, and you don't start back to your wife until you're holding it in your, in your right hand, you see? Walk over here, hand her the saucer, you take it from him, walk over there, pick up a cup and put it on the saucer, don't leave there if you have it on the saucer, and walk back, hand it to your husband. Then you, same thing, Ca cup, saucer, cup, saucer, until you have three cups and three saucers all stacked up, and you hand the whole thing back to your husband, and he takes it from you. Now what makes this difficult, or what made it fun at the time, was the fact that we're going to place on your right hands these vibrators. You see? <laughs> now you put your whole hand through there, and just your two middle fingers through the second one here. That's the idea. Get, get it running, because one of these is fingers in that top one if you don't mind then you can slide it all the way on now you can turn his on for him go right ahead get it started that's it now with those going what you do as i said using only that hand and you don't leave the table each time to come over and meet your wife in the middle until you've got it in the hand that holds the vibrator and you cannot support it with the other hand you understand yes, must sir. only be with the hand that has the vibrator on take a look at the clock see how many seconds you have 55 seconds to get three cups and three saucers are you ready go oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait there wait there wait there Wait right here. Take the, take the saucer. Take, in, in your other hand. That's it. Now go over and get a cup. Put it on the saucer. That's it. Bring it back to him. Go over there and get a, get a saucer on it. boy. Yep. Bring it over here. Come on. That's it. Take it in the other hand. That hand. That's it. Go over there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Back over here. Okay. Come on over there now. Give it to him now. Hand it to him. Don't drop it. All right. Stop the clock. Give it up. Oh, good. Oh, it's kind of a funny way of handling cups and saucers, isn't it? <laughs> 
Makes your hand feel like it's still shaking, I don't doubt. Well, we've had a lot of fun with that. We hope you enjoyed seeing it again as much as you've got a lot of letters on it, so we thought it'd be fun to look at once more. Well, now, that got you out of the way, and your hand feels good, doesn't it, huh? Oh, it Shake it up and get your, sure, get your circulation going. Well, Lieutenant, new kind of a spacesuit for you, huh? All right, now you're working up to the uh, $200 clock. That's the next thing that's cooking here. And when that $200 clock begins to tick away for you, it may mean a lot to you, you can't tell. Okay. Hey, the bonus bell. You get to try the new bonus. Bring it out, girl. Bring out the bonus. There we go. Come on over here, Lieutenant, just by yourself, if you will. Good enough. Thank you very much, Madeline and Betty. Now, you notice that here are two ping pong balls suspended by two strings. And here is one corn comp pipe and here is another. Now, it is conceivable that you can balance one ping pong ball in the bowl of that pipe, one in the bowl of this pipe, and bring them close enough together so you can hold them both in your mouth at the same time. However, the reverse of that is what your problem is. If you will place these two pipes in your mouth, one on each side, you just place them any way you want to make sure that they're both good and straight so you can get them in. What you do is, without using your hands at all, you first catch one of these ping pong balls in the bowl of that pipe, then you get this one in the bowl of the other pipe at the same time, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock, okay? This is for a bonus of $100 cash. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. $40, do you understand your problem? Are you ready? Go. The clock beats you with a good try. It'll be worth $200 next week. Whoever's lucky enough to get a chance to try. <laughs> that is a kind of, of uh, ballistics you didn't study in the Army, isn't no, it? No, sir, I haven't studied that <laughs> Separate yet. kind of it. Well, in any event, you didn't lose it anybody. You still go on to your $200 clock. Incidentally, uh, while welcoming you, I'd like to welcome a new friend, if you don't mind. We happen to know that tonight, uh, KROD TV, stationed down in El Paso, Texas is joining our show, and we're certainly happy to have you with us. We hope you enjoy us as much as we enjoy the knowledge that you're a part of our network. Welcome to you, and many happy hours of watching us. Welcome to uh, KROD TV. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Lieutenant and Mrs. Christensen of Logan, Utah, now we move you up to the $200 clock, and again, it is a stunt that has been done before and was accomplished with rather fun at the time. Come over here with me, if you will, please. Oh, wait just a minute. They're getting ready for you over there. They're having quite a conversation about it. Come on over here with me, will you? Here we go, for the $200 card, both of you together. That's the idea. Now, Lieutenant, I'm going to ask you to put on a shower cap, if you will, and then lie down with your feet out that way, sort of at right angles to this here contraption. Pull it down good and snug. boy. Now, just lie down on your back with your head on the pillow. You see, we think of your comfort here. That's the idea. Good. Well, he looks just fine there, doesn't he, girls? Looks just wonderful. Okay. Now, here's what you're... Can you come over alongside me, Miss Christensen? Looks nice there, doesn't he? Yeah, he's very now, nice. when I say go, let me show you what's going to happen. Watch, go. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. These pies come out. You see? And they keep coming in an endless chain like that. Oh, now, no. all right, let's hold it right there. That's good enough. Whoa, fellas, here we go. Oh, no. Now, those pies are loose in the pie dishes, you see? And as they get to the edge, they'll fall out of the pie tin. Now, we don't want any pie to get on your husband. So we want you to prevent it from happening. And the way you can do it is this. When I say go, you will leave my side and run over there. See those three pie tins? Uh -huh. Run back and catch the pie before it hits your husband's face. <laughs> See? Run back with the pie in the dish, put it down, get a second pie tin, come back and catch a second pie. Back and put that down, get the third pie tin, come back and catch a third pie. When you've got three pies and those tins over there, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Uh -huh. Take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 30 seconds to catch three pies. Are you ready? Go! You and I'll go over here. I got it all over me, too, so you have nothing to worry about, Miss Christensen. 
Okay, good enough. Now that means you've gone through the $200 clock. We'll get him all cleaned up and deliver him back to you good as new. Now, if you step down here, I want you to step that, Sid. Let her wipe her fingers off. You step up on that end of the platform, way down at the end, turn around and face the audience, because in back of you, in back of this curtain, is our magnetic jackpot board with all of the words of a famous saying or quotation on it. They're held there by magnetism, but they're all out of order. You've got to move them back in order on the board so they spell out the saying or quotation we're after. Do you understand? All of this in 20 seconds from the time I say go. All right? Open the curtain. Turn around and take a look. Go. Go ahead and know that with your husband in the army. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. And I'm awful sorry. Let me show you what it was. It should be, we have uh, met the enemy and they are ours. Famous military saying by one of the great generals, we have met the enemy and they are ours. Come on back down here, if you will. Maybe it was an admiral. I don't remember. It was an admiral or a general. But Miss Christensen, you've still done mighty well here tonight. Hope you've enjoyed doing some stunts we did before. And let's see what you've won. Just take a look. A Speed Queen electric clothes dryer. With a new conditioned air fast drying principle, full range of heats, and an automatic time control for whatever degree of dryness or dampness you desire. Congratulations, Lieutenant and Mrs. Christensen. You've just beat the clock for more than $200. My congratulations to you, too. I'm awfully glad to have you with us. You'll find your husband's favorite sound backstage. Good night. Roxanne, whom do we have now? I thought I'd like you to meet Mr. and Mrs. Charles Wilson from Durham, North Carolina. Well, good enough. Thank you very much. Mr. and Mrs. Wilson of Durham, North Carolina, nice to have you here. How are you, Ms. Wilson? How do you do? You know, as I told you, we're having our best stunts tonight, and I want you to stand by a minute because Roxanne got a little something best, too. And uh, if you will step over here, uh, uh, sort of rhyming with best is uh, Miss Bess Meyerson to tell you all about it. Bess, come on out and welcome to our show. How are you? I brought a big payoff for you, Roxanne. You know, yeah. TV Guide is making their annual gold medal awards. And in the special issue of TV Guide, where all the awards were listed, you had one just for you. And here it is. The beautiful TV Guide gold medal award to Roxanne, the most glamorous girl on TV for 1952. Wow. Oh, it's wonderful? so beautiful. And I'd like to add my personal congratulations to those of the almost two million readers of TV Guide who made this award possible. Thank you very much, Bess. I'm so grateful to everyone. Congratulations, Roxanne. <laughs> Thank, you, Bess. Thank you, Bess, for being with us tonight. Good night. If you'll pardon me for working with all this whipped cream on me, I, that's my own special award that our first contestants gave me. Mr. and Ms. Wilson, Durham, North Carolina, you're in the clothing business. I see you're married nine years. You have three children? Yes, sir. Two boys and a girl? Yes, sir. Two, yes, two boys and a girl. Boy, you had to stop and think a minute there, I have didn't a you? new one. I had to say. You have a new one? What's the new one? Uh, a boy. How old is he? He's nine months old. Oh, he's not so new. You've had him long he's enough new. to know. All right, now we're going to have some fun for you to start this one off, Miss Wilson. Again, it's one of the stunts we did before. Will you come over here with me? On the $100 clock. Now, if you would just stand alongside that pile of dishes, you stand on that side. And what you do is you take these dishes one at a time and you slide them along the floor so that they go up this ramp and you have to wind up with one dish on the top of that ramp. As long as you get one that slides up that ramp and sits there on the top of it without going off, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Now, it doesn't count if it's down here, anywhere else but there. It must be up on that ramp somewhere or some part, on the top part of the ramp. Do you understand? Okay, and just to make it real fun, the girls are going to move the ramp a little further away for you. That's a girl. And my meanwhile, you and I'll look at the clock and see how many seconds you have. Forty seconds from the time I say go, we'll keep you supplied with dishes. You can roll them any way you want to. Are you ready? Go.
call you, hoes. You mean we should have called you up at home and said you might be on the show tonight, so wear some special... Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll send you a new pair of hoes. Mark her down for a new pair of hoes. all right. And you I come don't... back... Come back over here with me because you're beating the $100 clock, and I hope you had fun doing it, did you? Well, I think your husband got more nervous than you did. He was standing he's over here. a better pitcher. Are you a better pitcher, are you? Yeah. I guess. Does, does he do most of the pitching at home? You do all the receiving, do you? Huh? Well, somebody's got to do it. It's got to go one way or the other all the way around. Well, we'll find out what your problem is on the $200 clock. Right, right now, Mr. and Ms. Wilson, we got you all ready here, and you'll see the reason for it right off. Come over here with me, will you, on the $200 clock? Now, we put you in some little scuffs there. Uh, if you get on the other side of him, will you, Miss Wilson? You get on this side of him, that's it. Now, I'm going to ask you both to just step out of those little scuffs and step right into that uh, sort of bag that's there and stand right in it. That's it. Now, before we do anything else to you, I want you to look very carefully and see. As a matter of fact, back them up just a little bit. Back up just a little bit. That's the idea. You'll see why in just a minute. Now, when I say go, we are going to zip this cover up. It's a mattress cover right up over your head. You're going to be zipped in it entirely, you see? When I say go, you get down on your hands and knees inside that cover and you crawl, both of you, over there while your wife picks up one of those pots. Then you cr both crawl back while your husband picks up one of these. Then you crawl back while you pick up one of those, crawl back while he picks up one of these, back and back until you have three pots, he has three pots. At that point, you all stand up and hold all the pots off the floor. We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Get the idea? Where do we hold, put these clocks? You just hold them right through here like that. You just grab them any way you can. You're groping oh, from inside. That's right. Got the idea? Take a look at the clock before you go in and see how many seconds you have. 55, zip them in there. Away they go. Don't forget now, start on your wife's side first. Wait a minute, get you all zipped up. All right, get on your hands and knees. Go! Betty, can you find it? We don't want to leave them in there all night, you know. Let's get them out. That's it. Here we go. Over the top. Come on, girl. Let's go. Zipper, zipper, zipper. That's it. Away we go. Well, I'm sorry. You sure worked hard on that. I tried to direct you over to where that other pot was. But in the meantime, you picked yourself up the $100 clock. In any event, we'll get those for you. You can just bring them right on over here. And we want you to, want you to see, as a matter of fact, what you've won. So just take a look over here. A collection of four electric appliances for years of wonderful service from Universal, including a mix of blend blender, a cookomatic waffle iron, an automatic toaster, and the famous Universal coffee matic. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. You have just won Beat the Clock prizes worth more than $100. Well, congratulations to the two. Bud, for our next contestants, we have Mr. and Mrs. Albert Stamm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. Hello, Al. How are you? How Mrs. You Stamm, how nice to see you. Lovely to be here. I expect that hat goes well with the dress you have on, oh, but I can't yes. tell from the outfit we've got you in. Well, in any event, we have another stunt now on the $100 clock, Mr. and Mrs. Stamm. Let's see, you're a sales salesman, married five years. You have two children. Yes, sir. Boy and a girl? Yes, yes. sir. Got both. the jackpot right away, didn't you? <laughs> Well, let's see what your problem is here. I think, as a matter of fact, sir, that you'll be more comfortable if you take your coat off. Right. Just hang it right on the hook we provided right. for you over there. And if you'll just step over here with me on the $100 clock, I'll show oh, you better take your hat off, too, I think. Yeah, yeah, you'll be much happier without it. You can set that right on top here. It'll be perfectly safe. There we go. Now, both come over here with me. This, again, is one we did before and had a lot of laughs with. Now, if you stand on this side of me, Ms. Wilson, on the other, here's a large carton, you see? There's a balloon there, there's a balloon fastened there, and a balloon down there. And if you look over there, there's one over there, too. See? Now, when I say go, you get down on your hands and knees, and you crawl into this box, and the two of you. And you roll the box over and break that balloon, then roll it back and break this one, then break that one. And at the very end, roll it over on the top and break the top one. When you got all three, four balloons broken, we'll stop the clock, and you'll beat the clock. Take a look at that old clock, see how many seconds you have. 
40 seconds to do it. All right, get down your hands and knees, get in there. Are you ready? Go. enjoy that? I loved it. Good. How about you, Steve? Did you enjoy it? Right. You see, in picking these stunts, we try to pick those that people not only had a lot of fun watching and we enjoyed doing, but the people themselves enjoyed <laughs> doing, really too. Did. By the way, did you bring your kids with you? No, we didn't. We left them home. Are they watching the show? Oh, they certainly are. And I bet you said program. if we get on, we'll wave to you, didn't you? We will. Well, you go right ahead. Honey, right there on that camera there. Hi, Earl. That's the Hi, idea. Shari. Which is which? I can't tell. Uh, Shari's a little one. Earl's a bigger one. My, he's a lot bigger, isn't he? <laughs> All right, we'll find out what your next problem is in a minute. Well, I've been having a little chat with the Stams here. We find out they've caught their wind since uh, we last put them through their paces. So if you've calmed down enough, come on over here with me. This is for the $200 clock. And uh, you can both come over here with me. And I'll explain to you, Mr. Stam, you'll have a different position in just a minute. But Al, suppose you step right back here. You see this black line on the stage here? Turn around the other way, because you work in back of this. In other words, you start in back of this. From there, you have to move. But each time you come back here is a starting point. Now here, well, thank you, Betty. This is an ordinary piece of stove pipe, see? Just, you can look right through there if you want to see. There's nothing in there at all, see? Now you hold that like a satchel in your right hand. Only in your right hand. Now what's going to happen is this. Your wife is going to roll tennis balls to you, one at a time. You catch a tennis ball in that stove pipe without it rolling out either end. Get down there until you drop it in this basket down there. Then you come back and get another one. As soon as you have two tennis balls that you dropped in the basket from that stove pipe without touching either end of it with your other hand or against your body or anything like that, We'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Let's take a look at the clock while we're here. See how many seconds you have? 55. Come on, Miss Stam. I'll get you in position down here. I think if you stay on this side of that table and just roll those balls to him one at a time, let me give you this word of caution. Don't roll them too hard because they'll go right through and out the other end. Are you ready? Go. I guess to try our jackpot clock, and that's all yours, Mr. Stam. If you'll step down the far end of that platform, Al, you can't help in this in any way. Will you step a little beyond her there so you clear the vision of the board for us? Step right up on the platform and face the audience, if you will, and don't turn around till I tell you to. In back of this curtain is our jackpot board with all the words of a famous saying or quotation held there by magnetism, but they're all out of order. You move them around till you get them back in order so they spell the saying or quotation we're after all this in 20 seconds. Do you understand? Okay, open the curtain. Don't turn till I tell you to. Turn around, take a look. So let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Sylvania Television proudly presents you the incomparable Kensington Corner Console Ensemble, the most exciting television styling in history. Sylvania's exclusive halo light surrounds the large 21-inch screen for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Kensington, available with built-in all-channel UHF VHF reception, is a masterpiece in design and performance. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Stam. You have just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Good night, good luck, and God bless you. Well, 
I'm afraid we haven't any more time to meet anyone else. Our time has all run out, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you kind of enjoyed our little idea of seeing again the stunts that we enjoyed. We hope you enjoyed and our contestants enjoyed as well. And now, speaking for Sylvania, this is Bud Collier saying so long for now and hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Mark Goodson, Bill Totten production. Produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Rock Sands Dress by Larry Moore. Which is fun that after money to tune in every week. At the same time for Meet the Clock. Clock beat you with a good try. It'll be worth two hundred dollars next week. Whoever's lucky enough to get a chance to try. <laughs> that is a kind of, of uh, ballistics you didn't study in the army, isn't no, it? No, sir, I haven't studied that. <laughs> Separate yet. kind of it. Well, in any event, you didn't lose it any but You still go on to your two hundred dollar clock. Incidentally, uh, while welcoming you, I'd like to welcome a new friend, if you don't mind. We happen to know that tonight, uh, KROD TV, stationed down in El Paso, Texas is joining our show, and we're certainly happy to have you with us. We hope you enjoy us as much as we enjoy the knowledge that you're a part of our network. Welcome to you, and many happy hours of watching us. Welcome to uh, KROD TV. Nice to have you here. <laughs> Lieutenant and Mrs. Christensen of Logan, Utah, now we move you up to the $200 clock, and again, it is a stunt that has been done before and was accomplished with rather fun at the time. Come over here with me, if you will, please. Oh, wait just a minute. They're getting ready for you over there. They're having quite a conversation about it. Come on over here with me, will you? Here we go, for the $200 card, both of you together. That's the idea. Now, Lieutenant, I'm going to ask you to put on a shower cap, if you will, and then lie down with your feet out that way, sort of at right angles to this here contraption. Pull it down good and snug. boy. Now, just lie down on your back with your head on the pillow. You see, we think of your comfort here. That's the idea. Good. Well, he looks just fine there, doesn't he, girls? Looks just wonderful. Okay. Now, here's what you're... Can you come over alongside me, Miss Christensen? He looks nice there, doesn't he? Yeah, he's very now, nice. Now, when I say go, let me show you what's going to happen. Watch, go. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> These pies come out. You see? And they keep coming in an endless chain like that. Now, all right, let's hold it right there. That's good enough. Whoa, fellas. Here we go. Now, those pies are loose in the pie dishes, you see? And as they get to the edge, they'll fall out of the pie tin. Now, we don't want any pie to get on your husband. So we want you to prevent it from happening, and the way you can do it is this. Every one of these stunts tonight have been done before, with the exception of the bonus. Our new bonus, it was new practically at the time, just got off the ground at $300, I think it was. Or was it $200 last week? $200. And it was knocked off, boom, boom, boom. It was the tennis racket with a little plastic cup on it. Just about time people were getting used to practicing it at home. A fellow we found out later, incidentally, is a professional tennis coach. <laughs> he took that thing and bounced the cup right up and had no trouble at all. So we have a new one tonight. Whenever the bell happens to ring, whoever happens to be at the microphone, as the usual rule goes, will be the ones to try it. Now, right off the bat, to start you out, show you how our sort of best stunts thing goes, on the $100 clock, will you both come over here with me, please? You may have remembered seeing this, or some of the people who uh, watch the show every week may have seen it, but I'm going to ask you to step forward, step over this wire, if you will, please, Lieutenant, and come up here with me. Now, you'll notice on your left, there is a pile of saucers, and on your right is a pile of cups. Now, what I want you to do when I say go, is you walk over, you always meet here in the center, you see? You walk over there, pick up a saucer, and you don't start back to your wife until you're holding it in your, in your right hand, you see? Walk over here, hand her the saucer, you take it from him, walk over there, pick up a cup and put it on the saucer, don't leave there if you have it on the saucer, and walk back, hand it to your husband. Then you, same thing, cup, saucer, cup, saucer, until you have three cups and three saucers all stacked up, and you hand the whole thing back to your husband, and he takes it from you. Now, what makes this difficult, and what made it fun at the time, was the fact that we're going to place on your right hands these vibrators, you see? <laughs> Now, you put your whole hand through there and just your two middle fingers through the second one here. That's the idea. Get, get it running, because one of these is two fingers in that top one, if you don't mind. Then you can slide it all the way on. Now, you can turn his on for him. Go right ahead. Get it started. That's it. Now, with those going, what you do, as I said, using only that hand, and you don't leave the table each time to come over and meet your wife in the middle until you've got it in the hand that holds the vibrator. And you cannot support it with the other hand. Do you understand? Yes. Must only be with the hand that has the vibrator on. Take a look at the clock. See how many seconds you have. 55 seconds to get three cups and three saucers. Are you ready? Go! No, 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 wait, 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 wait,
wait, wait, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait right here. Take the, take the saucer. Take, in, in your other hand. That's it. I'll go over and get a cup. Put it on the saucer. That's it. Bring it back to him. Go over there and get a, get a saucer on it. That a boy. Yep, bring it over here. Come on. That's it. Take it the other hand. That hand. That's it. Don't let it go. I'm good enough. All right, back over here. a funny way of handling cups and saucers, isn't it? <laughs> Makes your hand feel like it's still shaking, I don't doubt. Well, we've had a lot of fun with that. We hope you enjoyed seeing it again as much as you've got a lot of letters on it, so we thought it'd be fun to look at once more. Well, now, that got you out of the way, and your hand feels good, doesn't it, huh? Yeah, very Shake it up and get your, sure, get your circulation going. Well, Lieutenant, new kind of a spacesuit for you, huh? All right, now you're working up to the uh, $200 clock. That's the next thing that's cooking here. And when that $200 clock begins to tick away for you, it may mean a lot to you, you can't tell. Okay. Hey, the bonus bell. You get to try the new bonus. Bring it out, girl. Bring out the bonus. There we go. Come on over here, Lieutenant, just by yourself, if you will. Good enough. Thank you very much, Madeline and Betty. Now, you notice that here are two ping pong balls suspended by two strings. And here is one corn cob pipe and here is another. Now, it is conceivable that you can balance one ping pong ball in the bowl of that pipe one in the bowl of this pipe, and bring them close enough together so you can hold them both in your mouth at the same time. However, the reverse of that is what your problem is. If you will place these two pipes in your mouth, one on each side, you just place them any way you want to make sure that they're both good and straight so you can get them in. What you do is, without using your hands at all, you first catch one of these ping pong balls in the bowl of that pipe, then you get this one in the bowl of the other pipe at the same time, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock, okay? This is for a bonus of $100 cash. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. $40. Do you understand your problem? Are you ready? Go. When I say go, you will leave my side and run over there. See those three pie tins? Uh -huh. Run back and catch the pie before it hits your husband's face. <laughs> with the pie in the dish, put it down, get a second pie tin, come back and catch a second pie, back and put that down, get the third pie tin, come back and catch a third pie. When you've got three pies and those tins over there, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. Got the idea? Uh -huh. Take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 30 seconds to catch three pies. Are you ready? Go! <laughs> And you and I'll go over here. I got it all over me, too, so you have nothing to worry about, Miss Christensen. Okay, good enough. Now that means you've gone through the $200 clock. We'll get him all cleaned up and deliver him back to you good as new. Now, if you'll step down here, I want you to step that, Sid. Let her wipe her fingers off. You'll step up on that end of the platform, way down at the end, turn around and face the audience, because in back of you, in back of this curtain, is our magnetic jackpot board with all of the words of a famous saying or quotation on it. They're held there by magnetism, but they're all out of order. You've got to move them back in order on the board so they spell out the saying or quotation we're after. Do you understand? All of this in 20 seconds from the time I say go. All right? Open the curtain. Turn around and take a look. Go. Go ahead and know that with your husband in the army. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. and I'm awful excited. Let me show you what it was. It should be, we have uh, met the enemy and they are ours. Famous military saying by one of the great generals, we have met the enemy and they are ours. Come on back down here if you will. Maybe it was an admiral. I don't remember. It was an admiral or a general. Tick-tock, tick-tock, hickory-dickory-dock. Time to beat the clock. 
Time for fun has now begun. Let's all play beat the clock. <laughs> Beat the Clock is brought to you by Sylvania. For half a century, a quality name in incandescent bulbs, fluorescent tubes and fixtures, photo lamps, radio and television sets, radio and television tubes and electronic devices. Yes, for homes, offices, schools and factories, Sylvania. Let's all play Beat the Clock. And now, here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Collier! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big time prices. Now, if you'll come over here with me, we'll meet our first contestants for tonight and tell you a little something special about this show. Hello, what's your name? I'm Thelma Christensen. And this is your husband, Lieutenant Christ Christensen. Dwayne Christensen, is that yes, right? Sir, what do they right. call you? And just Chris? Chris, that's Chris. Fine. All right, Lieutenant, if you don't mind, were you recalled into the Army? or No, you... sir, I've been in since August. This is my first time in. Oh, I see. And uh, how'd you get them there, Lieutenant Bar, so fast? Well, uh, <laughs> I got these after finishing college, and I got them through the ROTC the program. ROTC at college. Yes, sir. Where was that? Utah State, Logan, Utah. Oh, good. How long have you been married, Miss Christensen? Sixteen months. Have any children? No. Huh? Well, now I want to tell you a little something about tonight's show. It's kind of special, and I'll tell you why. We thought it'd be kind of fun to do what we call the best stunts of 1952. Now, this does not necessarily mean these are the most complicated, the most ingenious, or the cleverest, but we rated it on the basis of those stunts in which the audience watching the stunt enjoyed the most and the contestants also enjoyed doing. So, you know, it's that kind of a best stunt. We thought it'd be fun to do them again for once and take one last look at them, a longing one possibly. So that's what you'll be involved in.